All right. My name is Tony Flores. Oh, I'm Lily. And this is our persuasive speech. Log off, lime in, find a beach, grab a Corona. This is the message that uh, we get from beer companies is that you deserve an ice cold beer when you are having a good time. Today we will tell you the serious problem of excess drinking by college students and propose a solution. Let's examine the problem when college students drink to excess. An article published in the Newsweek stated the number from Boston University who were hospitalized from alcohol-related illnesses had doubled this year. It also says that hospitals and police and valuable community resources uh, were being used by students who drink too much. This is because students who drink too much tend to hurt themselves or others. More tragic are the students' that, um, deaths that are caused by alcohol. Um, from my personal experience, well, nothing happened to me, but to a family member, uh, they were hit. It was my uncle and his wife. They were hit by a drunk teenage driver, and he died instantly, but she and the driver were severely injured. Uh, fortunately, they didn't pass. That's, that's good. So, but um, I mean, that's a perfect example of what excessive drinking can do to someone. It can not just ruin their lives, but it can ruin others, too. Um, according to the Office for Substance Abuse Prevention, alcohol is the leading cause of death in young adults. Uh, furthermore, of college students currently enrolled in the U.S., um, about 240,000 will lose their lives to alcohol. Um, college has many activities that are alcohol-centered, such as uh, college parties in general, and then there's uh, spring break. Um, and when you attend these parties, it leads to social pressure. And social pressure does, believe it or not, has an amount, uh, or has an effect on the amount of alcohol you consume. I'm pretty sure we've all been like that one where we go to a party with friends and you're like, no, I don't want to drink. And then they're like, come on, just drink one, just drink one. And then you drink one. Next thing you know, you're just, you're done. You're hammered. And um, that's, that's not good. So. Um, Neil here is going to discuss the, the solutions that are within your power to the right of way. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So for the solution, um, we better choose fun activities that are not actually alcohol-centered. So, for example, for a friend's 21st birthday, instead of going to a bar and um, just viewing the city outside the bar, you, you can just go take a walk with, with your friends or just go shopping, buy a special gift. Um, well, it, but if you feel like you have to drink alcohol since it's your friend's 21st birthday or it's a special day, just make sure that you, uh, you and your friend has their own like limits and help each other out to stay on the limit. Um, to not cause excess drinking. So um, today we have learned um, about serious problems that comes uh, comes from excessive drinking and also some of the causes. Uh, well, I'm here to tell you that it's okay to say no if you are peer pressured. Um, well, and the thing is, we are not against alcohol but we are against the percussions that alcohol has when it's abused. Um, the main focus is to advocate um, the, the problem or the problems that alcohol causes. So uh, let's to go beyond. Um, friends don't let fr other friends drink and drive to friends don't let other friends even drink. Uh, get, yeah, drink till they hammer. So be a good friend to the most important person about yourself and um, drink responsibly.